Let's talk about meeting the judge of all mankind. John talks about Jesus Christ will be the appointed judge of the whole human race. Listen to what John says in John 5. And he says that verse 22, the Father judges no one. Isn't that interesting? The Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Verse 27 says, The Father has given Jesus Christ all authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. I call this meeting the judge. When we think of the future and the unsaved, those who have never trusted Christ stand before God, we, I think for years you just automatically assume it's before God the Father. But he says, no, the Son will judge the men who refuse to believe in him. He'll be the judge. And that he's going to take them and appraise them according to his righteous standard. But he says here, he's done, he's made in this office because he's the son of man. And that comes right out of Daniel 7, that Jesus Christ is called son of man. And in prophecy, it's always the son of man, the son that is going to judge us. He understands our frailty. He knows the human condition. All the, he was tempted in every point, even as ourselves, yet without sin. I, I think it's an amazing thing that in John, he keeps saying, put your faith in Christ, receive Christ. And then it says, by the way, the one God's asking you to receive is the one that will ultimately judge you. Think of the amazing thing. If a judge, you went to court, and the court finds you a million dollars, and you stand guilty, you stand unable to pay the fine, and the judge vacates the bench, goes over to the clerk, gives them a million dollar check, pays your fine, and then says, you met all the demands of the law, all the demands of the court, you may now go free. For the believer, for those of you who are putting your trust in Jesus Christ, the judge has paid the fine for us. And that makes it possible that we become people that no longer face divine judgment. When those that are in Christ do not face judgment. There's no, no guilt. There's no shame. The fine's been paid. And who paid it? The judge. But if you don't trust him to pay, if you don't trust him to his death on the cross for you, and that he took your place, if you don't believe that, you don't receive that, you come under judgment. And the judge is Jesus Christ, the very one who offered to pay the debt. There's no excuse for anyone ever dying and going to a Christless eternity when the judge has willingly given himself to die in your place. Receive Christ and you'll never face judgment. You'll face only the judge who will call you his own child.